Hey guys, what's going on? It's Master Jays Weekly. What? Just hold hands for a minute. Ah, oh, caught the viewers with that quick intro. Master Joe's Weekly Word Episode 60 Neva. So it's been a few weeks. We're back, man. We're back again. Dilip. And we're back permanently now because Dilip, the cutting specialist, has used up every single last day of his annual leave for the next two f***ing years. Until next week when you go away though for a week. Ah, oh, shit. I think it's just, you know what? We're gonna have to start calling this Massive Joe's fortnightly word. Or just or Massive Joe's monthly word. And then if the viewers get like more than one a month, it's like a bonus round. Yeah. Thoughts? Yep. No, we're gonna try to keep it 100 for the viewers at home. We're trying, we're bringing back the weekly word. 100. And re really, apart from like traveling now, there's no really other excuse. There's no excuse. Dillip's back. The cutting special is back. So the editing can be done. Mm. We're here most of the time. We just gotta get our shit together and do it for the viewers at home. Well, we're trying to shoot at Wednesdays now, so yeah. it's Wednesday yeah. today. Yeah. Topics of discussion, Nick. Back in stock, new products, coming soon. ATF Tasmania. Adelaide Fitness Expo, CrossFit Regionals, Arnold Workout Videos, Ask me. That's what happens when you leave like four this weeks, between hour. weeks, between weeks. You know what, before we get into it, I, 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 genuinely, I'm happy to be back in weekly work. You're always happy to be back in front of the camera though. <laughs> but particularly happy to be doing weekly work. These are our, these are the most fun videos to shoot. And also because that we shoot, you know. Because you for are us a, to you're shoot, a little bit devastated. Hmm. You get a little bit disheartened because okay. you put up inspirational statuses. Yeah. On Instagram, photos of you with your wings out. Yeah. First comment, when's weekly word back? <laughs> You spent four to five First comment, first comment on our video with, with f***ing Rich Piana, Mark Loebliner, Doug Miller, was Weekly Word. You spent 45 I'm like, did just watch the video! I was going to call the person out, but it's going to take too long. But we'll yeah. call them out after. But yeah, you spent 45 minutes mm. writing this f***ing post. Oh, I was I'm inspirational as shit. This one here. Yeah, check us out. This one here. Follow. On Instagram, oh, at Massive Joe, Joe's. Joe with his wings out. Oh, you got a comment, Nibosh. I did. I'm commenting on your shit. Bodybuilding underscore news. Oh, there you go. I had a picture of Lee Priest from 97 weeks ago. <laughs> Thanks for Certified stalk stalker. <laughs> wow. All right. First topic of discussion. Uh, back in stock. All right. What's well, back in stock, man? Well, MTS Machine Way. Yeah. Now back in stock. Dropped. In, in all nine flavors. It dropped. Which also brings me to our next subject, topic of discussion. Next topic of discussion. Being new products. Mm. So MTS Way is now available in the mint cookies and cream. Mm. Which I think both you and I agree is the best flavor now. Yeah. Closely, closely uh, followed by Caramel Sutra. And vanilla still for me though. Yeah. Well, vanilla makes the best sludge. And red... Red velvet <laughs> No, red velvet cake. Red velvet cake. So yeah. Creamy red velvet cake. But definitely gourmet mint cookies and cream and caramel, two best flavors. Yeah. Vanilla, best flavor for just straight out sludge. And how long, because people want to know, right? We always, they, a lot of people think that we talk up MTS way to like move, move to get better sales figures and all that sort of shit. Realistically, how long is this shipment going to last? Oh. You've seen how much of it we sold in the last week. Well, yeah, we sold a pallet of pretty much every flavor in the first day. Yeah, as soon as it went live last Tuesday. People were buying Barney, my mate Barney on. Oh, Barney on. We got a question from Barney. Ask him, yeah. But Barney, Barney picked up five tubs of MTS Way and a Core Fury. Unbelievable. So, I mean, people like Barney are buying five tubs at a time, mate. Yeah, yeah. So, realistically. And also with Barney, threw in a yeah. free TMJ weight yeah. belt for, for as, a, as a loyalty member. Yeah. He used up his points. Yeah, like a boss. I'm sorry for everyone who is emailing me saying, where's my loyalty card? I saw in Weekly Word you're a bit behind. I'm still behind. <laughs> so I apologize. No, but back to the topic at hand. At hand. MTS Way currently in stock in all nine flavors. How long are these, is it going to last? Because if people are thinking about are, buying it, we need, to give the, we need to give them a time. Not everyone's got the cash to go out and boom, MTS Way goes live. Boom, go buy themselves five say, tubs. I'm just going to say Gourmet Mint and Creamy Red Velvet. i give it two weeks. Uh, tops, I think. And I think the entire shipment, you're talking probably three to four I weeks. I don't think we're going to quite run out of everything this time though. Oh, uh, it'll be close. It'll be close. Like, anyway, like, the no, point no. is, if you want to get MTS Way, in particular the new flavors, Act as soon as you can because we don't want you to miss I don't out. Know why, and be but like flavors like banana and vanilla just uh, don't sell online. 
Really? Very well. Yeah. In the stores they sell. Yeah. yeah strange. Anyway. I guess everyone wants all the new flavours and the chocolate. Yeah. Let's move on. All right. Um, yep. Yep. New products. Yep. Yep. Um, so, <laughs> Rich Piana, five percent liver and organ defender. Mm-hmm. Those yeah, who right. know will know what that's for. Yeah. We don't really need to say anything yep. more. It's for Rich's fans. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's uh, quite Rich. unique. It's a unique product. Yeah. You and I don't need to take it, but there are certain people who that particular supplement is going to work well for. Yep. Um, people are buying three tubs at a time, so people are thinking very highly of it. Mm. Uh, um, also by Rich, Crea 10, so it's 10 forms. Oh, they need a lot of um, detox. Yeah. Crea <laughs> um, 10, 10 forms of creatine by our friend Rich Piana. Yeah, our brother in iron. Um, the new Hemavolt. That's been going, that's been flying as well, man. That's yeah, been that's live right. for a couple of weeks, actually. I haven't had a chance to do a raw review. Well, yeah, we we're doing it in the stock, next, in the next week. In stock at the Arnold, and that was how many it was today? Well, a month ago. A month ago. Really, was when it properly launched. And that's been flying yeah. even without being raw reviewed. Yeah. So people putting a lot of trust in Rich. I of course, Hemavol 2, or Hemavo 2. He, Hema VO2 Max yep. is what it's called. It's so, the predecessor, it's the, it, the, is the predecessor the right word? Anyway, it's a new version of Hemavol, yeah. effectively, is what it is. It's cool shit, man. I've been training the last couple of nights. I'm going to drop the raw review in the next week as well. But pretty good as a non-stim pre-workout. It's got caffeine in it, though, mate. Almost, no, it doesn't have caffeine in it. Almost as a complete stim-free pre-workout. Shit, I hope it doesn't have caffeine in it, because I've been stacking it with a pretty damn strong stimulant pre-workout. I don't think it does. No, I it doesn't. It, I thought it did. Well, when I drop the raw review, I'll go balls deep. Next product, Neve. I was legit. Keep sure. moving along, man. Legit sure this We're trying to keep this under 45 yeah. minutes in this bit. I'll show you that I paid no attention when no I was No attention. Did I? Um, so the Muscle Meds range, I think we've already been through this, but anyway. We've got the Carnival, mm -hmm. Muscle Meds Carnival. The entire Muscle Meds range that's going to be available in Australia is now available in Australia. The Carnival Mass. It's a mass gainer. These are beef proteins. For viewers at home that aren't aware, man, you go check out the raw reviews on the YouTube channel. Beef, hydrolyzed beef protein isolate in the lean version and then the gainer version. Also, no bull, which is their pre-workout supplement. I actually haven't tried that yet. No. I'm gonna try it probably tonight, I reckon. Like hammers and kales. Lemon ice, good See flavor. if it helps me turn wild and bull amino mode on, decanate. Which is their amino acid supplement. That's so raw mean. reviews for, for the proteins are already up. Raw reviews for the amino, the pre-workout uh, are gonna be up uh, within the next couple of weeks, man. Decan I gotta try them first. Can't raw review the shit if I hadn't tried it. It'd be, it'd be just a review. Deca drive be raw. Deca drive, is that some? It's what they, they, it's a delivery system. They put it in that and they put it in the Noble um, XMT. What's Deca well. drive though? I don't know. And I haven't used it. What? I'm just telling the viewers I gotta oh, use right. this shit to do a raw review. There's muscle meds doing a uh, an amino trend. By Decker, you know what I'm saying? They're getting that here. Oh, I get what you're saying. They're using the steroid names in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, it's not the first time we've seen it. Yeah, I know. I'm just wondering if that's what they're doing, or if there's some science behind Decker. Next new product, Neve. Well, Decker means ten. Oh. In Latin. <laughs> Mind is blown. <laughs> that's a made-up name. Uh, muscle Tech Shatter or hashtag Shatter for yeah. those that want to. Get all social media. Sh on. Hashtag Shatter SX7 is the actual name. Raw review for that dropped yesterday. It's quite a good uh, stimulant based pre, concentrated stim pre. And also uh, Muscle Farm Platinum CLA powder. Try, powder. Mus try Muscle Tech. Platinum what did I say? CLA. Muscle Tech. I don't think Muscle Tech would appreciate you calling them Muscle Farm, you know what I'm saying? Next topic of discussion. Uh, coming soon. So we got the uh, by Core Nutritionals, Doug Miller Core Pump. Oh man, so, so many people interested in that. Yep. Damn! I know we Gonna are. Gonna stack with Core Fury Extreme and also be a standalone uh, pump pre workout by itself. Core Pump, get me. And we've seen the formula, it looks good. Core Pump, get me a bit Core Hard. Mm. Also, the other, next product. Go, go. <laughs> Make them a bit excited about that one, we are, Joe. Alright, so that is actually. Uh, yeah, it's a new product. Don't mind the segue. Another coming soon is Core Hard, which is gonna be a powder form. Anti-estrogen uh, anti and, and hardening agent that we're actually working on the formula with Doug Miller, president of Core Nutritionals at the moment. Yeah, and that's going to be something we've never seen in the Australian market. We, actually, it's going to be something based on what we're doing at the moment. It's going to be something that like we've never seen anywhere before. So yeah. it's going to be pretty cool. Why the f I'm in the dark back here? I don't know, man. Strange. Um, don't have that heavenly Neve glow going on. Um, MTS Vasky. Yep. No? 
You want me to keep talking about that? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. a new nitric oxide booster from our brother Mark Loebliner MTS, specifically designed to stack with Clash. That's a couple of weeks away. Is it a vasodilator? That's what I just said. Yep. Yes. That's why it's called Vasky. I was getting to that. Mm. Muscle Meds apparel, so we get the Muscle Meds hoodies. Oh, you got them. Got them. They're right here, man. Muscle Meds hoodies in the black. Muscle Meds hoodies, the Kai Green style in the oh, red. Oh, mate. We got uh, Muscle Meds. T-shirts, Kai Green style, also in the red. We got the Muscle Meds tank tops in the red and the black, Kai Green style. See, I'm dropping the Kai Green style. Ooh, Kai Green and mean. also in the red, Kai Green style. And there's beanies coming as well. So all of that stuff's going to be live within the next week, massivejoes.com, man. It's the only place in Australia you can get that shit, man. Yep. So if you're a big fan of Muscle Meds, if you're a big fan of the big dog, Kai Green, you're to represent some Muscle Meds apparel, man. Um, next coming soon, ATP Science. Mm -hmm. So we've got two of their products here. Um, yep. I've been using, as you can see, they're actually samples, so you can see that I've actually been using That's them. That's why it says sample. I'm surprised it doesn't say knee bosh or hashtag knee movement. So the two I've been using are the ATP Alpha Mars, which is their male testosterone booster, yeah. and the ATP T432, which is your metabolic calories. So we got their full range coming, man. I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit skeptical of the product. You said that. I'm not even gonna lie. Skeptical as shit. Uh, pro type. But I have an open mind. When am I if I didn't have an open mind, we wouldn't carry a lot of the products we carry that are quite novel, quite new. Mm. So I'm, I'm keen to give them this the This is what needs to how we're going. I've pushed it. You have. You pushed it I've over pushed the line. The, pushed the, uh, the, the... Anyway, we've got, what else yeah, we got the full like, prototype 8 and all that kind of stuff's coming. What else we got coming? Um, Outlast, so Outlast Nutritional. Yeah, new Australian company, man, bringing their full range in. Well, I think maybe not quite the full range. But pretty damn close because we've we have actually tried a bunch of their products and we are impressed as shit. Outweigh, outwhip, outshred, outstrip. Yeah, they need some help with the naming, but yep. it's all good. <laughs> and the pressed protein powder. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I thought it was a bug, but I think it was just a bit of fluff flying around. Oh, interesting. Pressed <laughs> protein powder, you. <laughs> what? What do you want me to say? It's Quest protein powder. Right. There's nothing special about it. It's not. It's, they've just people have been losing their damn minds. Just Quest has name. come out with a protein powder. They've just gone off the name Quest. Exactly. Overpriced, it's, it's... undersized. <laughs> but we'll carry it for all of you Quest lovers out there. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Anyway, you just got me thinking about Smalls Quest bars. I was thinking about chocolate mm. cookie dough. That's my favourite. Oh, and the mint cookies and cream also just launched. Mint, mint, choc mint. I yeah, think. whatever it is, mate. Yeah. Mint. That's mint funny, cookies mate. and cream is a Mark Loebliner MTS Nutrition Way exclusive. Don't get it twisted. Where's the trademark, Marcus? Next topic of discussion. ATF Tasmania May 4. Oh, okay, cool. So this is pretty cool for all of our Tasmanian viewers at home. Uh, Joel Bait, aka Swalbait, aka the Swallow Bear Messengers, Wholesale Account Manager, and myself are going to be at Anytime Fitness Kingston, which is the new Anytime Fitness down there. Kingston in Tasmania, it's about a, I think it's about a 10 minute drive from Hobart. I checked on the map. I've got no idea. Anyway, we're gonna be there May 4. We've got an event coming. We're not 100% sure on the finer details, but we'll pop it live on the Facebook page, the Instagram page, man, so you guys can check it out. But if you live in Tasmania, it's gonna be a seminar and then a workout of some sort is what we're gonna do. May 4, Monday, and it's gonna be late afternoon, early evening. National Star Wars Day, mate, too. May the 4th be with you. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Nick. You'll be away from the pushy cat, mate. You'll have to get all Han Solo on your own. Duh. <laughs> Is that that one? That's great. <laughs> Adelaide. That's just brilliant, <laughs> Eva. <laughs> right. Adelaide Fitness. I can last one night. Adelaide, Adelaide Fitness Expo. Oh, God. What? What about it? So, what date? Are you going to... Say something for this week, you weren't just going to read off the page and handball to Joe. I'm just getting prepared. Mate, handballer of the century right here. Greg Williams, mate. Ah. The Greg, uh, for those in Australia will know Greg Williams. Handballer of the century, yeah. 40, 45 possessions, 43 handballs. Yeah. yeah. That's um, you right now. So LA Fitness Expo, do we know what dates it is, mate? Mm. May 16, May 17. At the Wayville Showgrounds yeah. is the LA Fitness Expo. So yes. we're going to have a booth there. We're, gonna have, we're not going to have our super booth, we'll have our mega booth. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be it's gonna be if you if you came visit us at the arnold um effectively what it is it's it's that it's, it's the, half of our stand it, yeah it. and it's the adelaide health and fitness expo so it's like the arnold classic expo but just in adelaide i heard they're calling so, it the, the roberto classic 
I heard that it's also known as the Roberto Classic as well. The Rob Classic. Yeah, the one of the organizers' names is uh, Rob. He's tried to call it also a, called Roberto. He's tried to call it the Roberto Classic. Yeah. Anyway, so May 16, May 17, we're going to be there all weekend long, man. We got some cool stuff happening. It's pretty much what we did at the Arnold on a smaller scale. Well, both so, booths will be incorporated into one. So we'll have all your yeah. MTS. We'll have all your your core nutritionals, five percent. None of the guests are coming. No, low no. blind. Jake Nicolopoulos is coming though. Jake is coming down. Ash is coming down as well and uh, just actually we need to tell the viewers at home who will be coming to this is myself and Asha will be there on Sunday only yep. but Jake will be there Saturday and Sunday and the whole crew will be there Saturday and Sunday this is going to be cool man we've got shirt giveaways we've got specials going on it's going to be good it'll be yeah. good we can yeah. next topic of discussion Nick uh, CrossFit Regionals yeah cool so Weekend after the Adelaide yeah. Fitness Expo, Week which off. is the 20th. 20... Last, last year was the same weekend, which is why we didn't do the Adelaide Fitness I Expo. I think it's last you have year. your. Uh, I can't even remember the dates, man. We've got so much shit coming up, I can't even remember. Can you unlock your phone? Oh, check it out. I think it's like May 22. It's, uh, find out what the dates are the weekend after the Adelaide Fitness Expo. Um... Don't look on Instagram, you f. We're in the middle of a video! What, da what dates? The weekend after. May. 16, 17. All right, so it's May 22 to 24. It's in Wollongong, New South Wales, the CrossFit Regionals. It's like the national CrossFit competition for the Asian Pacific region. So it's mainly the Australian nationals, but some New Zealanders come for it, and then, you know, some islanders from Pacific Islands come to it as well. It's cool. We've done it the last three years. This is our fourth year there, man, and we love it. We love going there and exhibiting. So we're going to be there the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at the CrossFit Regionals in Wollongong. May 22 to May 24, repping MTS, repping core, doing what we do best viewers at home. I've even got my Reebok Nanos on for that now. It's going to be good. So yeah. if you're going to be there or if you live in Sydney, come check us out. We yeah. might even do some workouts at night. Yeah. Well, we will be working out at night. Actually, here you go. This is cool. We're going to be there. I'm, this is, I'm, I'm, I haven't even discussed this. This, is this is unscripted. My name's on the building. I can do this shit. We are, uh, we're going to be there. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and also Monday. We're going to be training Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. If you live in Sydney, or you live in Wollongong, or you're around the region, and you want to come and train with us those nights... Where are you going to be training at, though? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but come see us at the CrossFit Regionals, and we can organise it from there. I'll just hit you up somehow. And No, well, I'll put it on I'll put it on. No, Instagram. put it in the comments here, and tell you where you want to train with Joe. I'll put it on. It'll be in any time fitness somewhere, because by the time we train, it'll be late. Yeah. But it'd be cool to, to train with some of our um, Sydney side viewers at home. Unless they got, how far is... Um, I'm down for that. How far is Wollongong from Sydney? You guys Sydney? down for that? How far is Wollongong from Sydney? It's about an hour drive. People might drive up. Yeah, it's, mate, if, for Sydney, an hour drive is nothing. Yeah. People in Adelaide go drive now, they'll lose their f***ing minds. That's halfway to Melbourne, mate. Yeah. Alright. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Arnold workout videos. Yeah, cool. So go check these out. Links in the description box, man. Our workout videos from the Arnold and the week after the Arnold. There's four videos in total. One of them is the collaboration we did with Rich Piano, Mark Lobline, and Doug Miller mm -hmm. at Stand Up Fitness in Melbourne. Another one is the collaboration we did with Flex Lewis, Neil Hill, Jake Nicolopoulos uh -huh. at Powerhouse Fitness Gym in Adelaide. Another one is the collaboration we did with Steve Cook and Ashley Coltart at Anytime Fitness Black Forest in Adelaide. And the final one is a 45 minute uncut, unedited interview with three times 212 Mr. Olympia Flex Lewis, man. Links in the description box. You guys go check all those videos out man that's some cool videos especially the flex We've, i've been getting a lot of emails about the flex yeah all produced edited and uh published uh, by uh taz k photographer mm. my brother yeah he yeah, does great work he does next topic of discussion nick oh, good we finally made it 20 minutes in 20 question let's go ken cross wants to know ask neve and ask joe what exercise do you hate doing but no it's a must so you do it anyway I hate doing bent over rows. Really? Mm. Barbell, dumbbell, or just any barbell. variation? Just, I don't like barbell rows. Really? Who would have thought with that silver back of yours? That's all I can think of at the moment. Unbelievable. Mine is um, incline dumbbell bicep curls. That stretch when you're on the incline and you've got that stretch position. Yeah. I fucking hate that exercise, man. Yeah? Feels like someone's stabbing me in my bicep, but it's mm. good for that stretch position and flexion. Nothing comes close. Yeah. There's not too many exercises I don't like doing. There's a lot of exercises I don't do. Why? Can't be bothered. I like squat. I don't squat. Oh, knees. Yeah. Neves. CTF Keith 1994 wants to know, hey Neve, I've got a question on the ingredient, astrogen. You know what astrogen is, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Cool. I know it can boost the absorption, but does it mean that I can get more than the label lists? Say I have five grams of BCAA in one serving, is the astrogen gonna let me have more than five grams? With 35 grams on the label, then no, there's not gonna magically make another gram of beer. <laughs> I'm a bit confused by that question. I think that's what he's saying. Is it gonna let me have more than five grams? Well, why not? Because you're grams. only just consumed five grams. Effectively, what it's gonna do for you, Keith, is if, you, if you've got, say, five grams of BCAA, and your body is only able naturally to absorb, say, four of those five grams, estrogen is gonna allow you to absorb more than what you would normally absorb. Mm. But it's not going to magically make another gram appear. But I don't think it affects BCAAs. It's got a particular effect on uh, arginine and citrulline malate, and there are some other amino acids in particular that it affects. But it doesn't. The estrogen doesn't magically help you absorb everything more. It's specific to certain amino acids. Yeah, but I don't understand what you mean by five grams. Then. Going to yeah, I'm a bit. I'm a bit confused by that question as well. Yeah. Baby Prime Time Five wants to know when is Evigen back in the house. Um, well, here in Australia, we have distribution rights and the Australian distributor has just changed hands here in Australia. Yeah. yeah. So there's been a bit of stock issues and also dollar issues, we'll be honest. What do you mean dollar issues? They're trying to price it too high. Yeah, the new distributor has gone full... Um, like a type of EVP will, not will good, pretty much it? have to sell for like 80 bucks. I'm not bucks. saying that word anymore. I got pulled up in yeah. one of my videos. I, pretty much like I have to sell like EVP for 80 bucks or 90 bucks even. It's going to be... It's coming back. There's an issue with stock because of the switch over distributors, but just be, be aware that when it does come back, there will be a significant price rise. Yeah. And it's got nothing to do with us because we don't import the shit, we just buy it from distributors. Yeah. So they charge us what they want to charge us, what they think is fair. Yeah. And what We're they the think company. is fair. We're going to be up front. Nuts! We're going to be up front and say, look, we've been over. No, well, we haven't. It doesn't bother us. It's the Well, we have because we're the people's company. We want to pass on good prices. Oh, that's a good point. So, so it's us. All it's We've, we've just and the people yeah really. our chests have been shattered yeah but it's coming back it's not it's probably i think it's like two weeks away <laughs> standard supplement industry answer two weeks thomas kessler wants to know hey guys i got a problem man i got a problem too what's yours i got 99 problems but my gains ain't one yeah you like that no really. no okay anyway. you said you had a problem then you had said yeah i I was going, I was going, you got, uh, we saw I'm just was, not the Segway King like you, Neva. We saw where it was going. I, <laughs> you, you, could you, could you see it? You can see the, the envi you can see the envision, yeah, but yeah, it's just... Yeah. Um, I think I telegraphed it. I got a problem. When I squat, my right ass cheek hurts at like the bottom of the glute. Not the hammies though. It's like the, the glute insertion maybe? Yeah, and just the right ass. Uh, it started hurting when I went heavy on squats and it feels like it's tearing when I go down. The bottom of the squat, it feels like that and sometimes it gives out a little and it hurts at the top of the squat. What should I do? I laid off legs for about two months and starts hurting as soon as I start squatting again. Thanks, guys. Well, it sounds like you got some kind of tear. Yeah, if you, if of... you took two months off, man, that's a significant amount of time off yeah. and it still hasn't healed. That usually I'd, points I mean, to a tear. Yeah. Something needs to be surgically repaired. I mean, I'd go. I'd definitely go be seeing a physio about it. Yeah. Um, I definitely wouldn't be squatting if that's what it is doing is squatting. Well, he took two months off, so he's probably taken two months off, come back to it, done it a couple of times, and gone now. Nah, yeah, still but not stay right. away from squats now. You need to hit up my brothers and ask Neve. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, instead of asking Neve, I'd probably ask your local physio. Yeah, um, I'd go to a physio first, and they'll probably, if it's serious, they'll probably refer to you to a uh, doctor. Yeah, see, see, I mean, in the meantime, see it doesn't you, sound good, man. Nah, see what you can do on, I mean, I, like leg press, see if you can just do leg press and just not quite go as deep, which will yeah. bring your glutes in. Sort of, you can just keep tension on the quads by not. I mean, not half reps, but yeah. not going all the way down. You you stop you your glutes from coming in. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff you can still do without bringing your glutes in. Yeah. But yeah, just stay away from squatting. Devin Lethbridge wants to know, what's your guys' thoughts on doing cardio two times a day? Is it redundant or will it help you lose weight faster? High intensity, then low intensity or vice versa? Um, I mean, you're going to be burning more calories. So it's going to, um, yeah, obviously put you in, in more of a calorie deficit. Mm. Um, I mean, yeah, it obviously depends on what your, what your goals are. I mean, I'd, instead of doing cardio twice a day, I'd probably be looking at other things as well, like just reduced 
calories yeah. itself. Yeah. Um, calorie timing. The only, the only time, timing. like me personally, the only time I would do cardio twice a day is like two weeks out from a show, man. Yeah. That's really the only time. Even four weeks out, I'm still only doing it once a day. To be, to be honest, like instead of doing cardio twice a day, you're probably not lean. You're not tight enough on your diet unless you are two weeks out. And if you're two weeks out, I hope you're not asking, asking Eve Two weeks and waiting out. for a response two weeks out. Shit, because he would have been waiting a long time. Yeah. He probably asked that question two weeks ago. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably competed already. Um, yeah, um, like what will help you lose fat faster? Fat faster. I mean, they both work. Probably high intensity, I would say. Um, of course, it will burn more calories. Burn more calories in, that in a deficit. shorter amount of time. But also um, choose into muscle tissue, man. Yeah, You'll be careful with that shit. So yeah, I mean, you have to ask me a lot of different things here, and yeah. Jack Isaacs wants I to know. I prefer low intensity because of the because I just don't you like don't running. Like cardio. I don't like cardio. Yeah. Jack Isaacs wants to know when taking whey protein, does your body use absorb the protein better if it's mixed with water instead of milk? Yes. Milk slows down the digestion, right? Yeah. Anything else you want to add, or just mix the shit with water? It just mix with water. Um, cool. When you're having a whey protein, you're just adding in unnecessary calories as well. Correct. Slowing the digestion and adding in carbs, fats, I mean, most and people, extra protein. Yeah, I mean, most people get um, whey protein for the for the low calories and the low fat, low carb. The, well, the thing is, is whey protein comes from milk, right? It's like an it's a particular bit of the milk that's been isolated, turned into powder. So I always find it quite strange when people want to mix protein with milk. Like it's like take something that has purposely been manufactured to get rid of all the shit in milk and just isolate the protein, and you want to go throw that bitch back in milk. And back in the day, like that just f- with my head. We're man. talking about like 10, 10 years ago when I first had my first protein, which was like a red back protein or some brand like that. Yeah, I used to have to mix it with milk so it would taste good. Yeah, but I mean it, the manufacturing process has come a long way in ten years. The proteins are delicious. So we'd, well, there's no way. try MTS way, mate. It tastes like mixing with milk anyway. That's it. Mitchell Dutchery wants to know. Hey guys, I'm about to come off my first cycle of MTS Barracuda and was wondering if there's anything I need to do, uh, take or do after I come off it. Keep up the awesome work. The Vanilla Gorilla of Texas. No, just take like a... It's a natural just, test boost. Natural te- just take like eight weeks off or four, four days. I always like find it funny weeks. when people say they cycle natural yeah. test boosters. Yeah. yeah. Say um, you're going to stop taking your natural test booster to give yourself some time off. Yeah. But you don't need to do it. It's, you don't need like post-cycle therapy or no. take Rich Piano's liver and organ defender. No, there's nothing you need to do. Just, natural just, test boost. Just take it off. Yeah. Lucky McG Videos wants to know, hey guys, greetings from planet Earth. Well, pfft, pfft me. Who would have thought? <laughs> We've got a comedian on our hands here. He's not calling from Mars. Is this Lockie or Eddie Murphy? <laughs> <laughs> what are your honest opinions of the MI40 program? Is it worth signing up for? I've been following it. Um, you have. I haven't. And I, um, I, I'm a massive fan of it. Mm. Um, because I've been getting awesome pumps from it and I've yeah. also been getting real sore from it. Just because obviously, when you when you change up, which is what we sell at the time, when you change up your your routine, your exercises, and all that kind of stuff, um, I mean, you're going to start getting noticeable noticeable difference. Yeah, and as as well for me, I mean, I'm not following the MI40 program completely in terms of his like supplements. You're just using concepts. Yeah, like in yeah. terms of his supplements, in terms of his diets, and all that kind of stuff. I'm just using the main principle of MI40, which. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to take money away from Ben Popolski, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. Yeah. But the main pr- principle, MI40. Um, I'm following the main principle of the training. It's like time under tension shit. Yeah, yeah. and putting pretty it, much and transferring it to my own exercises and own training. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. So is it worth signing up for? That's I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Do it. Oh, that's the first page. Brandon J wants to know. If you screw up your reverse diet, should you jump right back into a cut or just plan your next cut to be longer? If you screw up, how are you screwing up your reverse diet? He didn't reverse diet is what he's saying. (laughs) So should he go straight back into a cut or should next time he cut, just give himself more time to cut? So you've blown out really badly. Exactly. I'd start tightening the screws a little bit already and try and get back to say, 12% 12% we look we there's a few people in our local uh, fitness community at the moment that have done exactly this hmm. pretty much Brandon and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say what I'm gonna say now I'll direct you to some cool shit pretty much the worst thing you can do 
if you blow out after a contest, it goes straight back into a caloric deficit. Yeah. That is actually the worst thing that you can do for your body, for your hormones, for your uh, psychological health as well as physical health. It is the worst thing you can do. Do not go straight back into a cut because you will f yourself up, man. And I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even f with you. We do have a very cool article. We've got two really cool articles on the website in the in the scoop. So massive Joe's, click on articles, click on the scoop, and there's a couple of articles in there. One of them is specifically on reverse dieting that I would read for reference next time you diet, so you actually know how not to blow out. And then another one is on competing too frequently, and it actually talks about. What, what happens with the cycle where you compete, get down to very low body fat, blow out, and then go and cut straight away again. So it, it, it explains why you shouldn't do that. Not just physically, but also mentally. Psychologically, it's probably the worst. Mm. But the, the best thing to do is to reverse diet so that you don't blow out. Yeah. But from where yeah. you are at the moment, obviously I'd tighten the And it's hard. I know you, it's hard. From where you are now, tighten the screws. Don't go back straight into like 2,000 calorie or whatever the f you're on. No. Just tighten it up, go back to eating your, we're, we're bro foods, we eat bro foods. That's so go it. back to eating your Just slowly foods. peg it back, man. And yeah, the next time you cut, just give yourself longer to cut and set yourself up psychologically to properly reverse diet and out of you, the cut. Obviously, if you've dieted, you're, you're planning your calories and you're planning your, your, your exercises and you're planning your cardio each week. Yeah. I mean, it's not too hard, man, just to slowly increase 50 grams of carbs back in here and 20 grams. Well, of you you know, you say that, Nibosh, but you haven't competed before. But what I'm saying is, is if you... It is difficult. But it's it lazy. Very it's hard. lazy. It's lazy. It's, no, it's not lazy. It is. It's not lazy, man. What it is, and I, I can, I see, I see it all the time. You, there's a couple of guys floating around at the moment yeah. in, in our personal gym scene that have done exactly that. Mm. And I feel sorry for them because I know that it is reverse dieting is harder sometimes than dieting because you don't have an end goal. Yeah. And w through bodybuilding, we're so driven by goals. If you take a goal away, what are you training for? Yeah, but the thing is, that's well, why is so many doing, people But we're so out. driven by um, results. Result. No, but also so driven by. Um, how meticulous and following diets and plans and that kind of stuff yeah. is. That I think if you can follow a plan for 16 weeks, you should be able to follow a plan for the reverse diet. You should, and the problem why a lot of guys don't, and a lot of guys and girls blow out, is because they don't have that plan post post contact. That's what I'm saying. So that, no, that's yeah. what I'm saying now is make that plan for post workout. Yeah, I agree. Andy it, Tran wants to know, Neve, would pre workouts or supplements absorb better if you add vitamin C tablets? Ascorbic acid. Um, a lot of pre workouts already do include them. Yeah. Or uh, something to help with absorption, like estrogen. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, I guess so. I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't go say you need to go consume vitamin C pre-workout. Yeah. But yeah, I guess they will, yeah. Well, there's no harm in trying, yeah. really. Vitamin C is cheap I mean, it's not, shit. it's not something I'd go And it's got other benefits apart from helping absorption. It actually yeah. helps with your health, yeah. generally speaking. So provided you don't overdose, because if you overdose on vitamin C, you can die. I always have, I always have two grams of vitamin C post workout. Ahmed Kalawadi wants to know, hey guys, when changing up your workout routine, do you simply change around the order of exercises or go as far as completely swapping out exercises? Um, it's, it's not just change around the order of exercises because you should be doing that every week anyway. You shouldn't be yeah. going in every, not every week, but yeah, I mean, you shouldn't be going in week after week hitting the same exact exercise in exactly the same order for exactly the same Keep your body rate. guessing, man. So I mean, we'll, we'll go from like we'll do one week we'll do bent like barbell bench press. Next week we'll do dumbbell bench press. Yeah. We'll do incline barbell, incline dumbbell. Yeah. Like we'll do lat pull down with the wide bar, lat pull down with the close grip, that yeah. kind of stuff. So that's something we do on a weekly on, on a weekly basis. Mm. Swapping those exercises around. Yeah. Hitting leg extensions first, hitting squats first, hitting yeah. hamstring curls first, hitting good mornings first. Yeah. That kind of stuff is what we do automatically. What we do is we change up. The the style of, the style of training so the split yes yeah so hitting different ones but also the style of training so what we'll go heavy for low reps low, high volume yeah high, high reps, reps high reps um, time under tension changes kind of one second up one second down one second up three seconds down so that's the kind of stuff all sorts of shit man yeah so was, so that kind of exercises and all that kind of stuff is a given to be doing weekly anyway for us yeah. it's more the style of training yeah in terms of reps and sets and volume and 
time and attention, all that kind of stuff. That's what it. We Regan C wants to know, what's up guys? I just received my MTS Barracuda from you guys and was wondering when's the best time to take it. Why I ask is that I train at 11 a.m. most days and I hear Joe say that it's best to take it 12 hours before your session. That's because of the ingredient in there that acts within 12 hours. Mm. So it's uh, the fenugreek extract. Uh, and I, uh, would I would I find if I take it at 11 p.m. at night, I would get the same results as someone who takes it at 6 a.m. and then trains at 6 p.m. Cheers, guys. Regan from Brisbane, hashtag need movement. I would be taking it before bed. I would too. Because I mean, that hits you bang on 12 hours. And I personally always prefer taking those kind of subs pre-bed anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah I, yeah, I agree. I take it in the morning because I train at night. Yeah. So that hits the 12 hour window for me perfectly. But if you train at 11 a.m., taking it about 11 p.m. the night before is gonna be perfect. Mm. Yeah. Canardis16868 wants to know, hey guys, I've been using Synthesis 6 as my meal replacement, mixing weights and cardio using your training videos. Good to hear, man. And have lost a lot of weight, 40 pounds. That's Eight. like 15 kilos. 18 kilos. Damn. Yeah. Now I find myself really hungry after the shake. Could I eat my normal food and add a whey protein like IsoBurn to gain protein I need daily? I really don't want to use two shakes because it's expensive. Thanks guys, LNR from Trinidad, West Indies. Well, now, that you're, um, now that you're losing weight, it means that your metabolism has sped up. Yeah. And that's why you're feeling now so hungry after Synthesis 6, is because your metabolism is so high, you're burning through that Synthesis 6 very quickly. Yeah. And it's leaving you very hungry. Yeah. I mean, we're in the business of selling supplements, but what I'm going to say is swap it for a whole meal. Yeah. So swap it up for where you're having your protein, your carbs, and your fats, and your synthesis. six. Yeah. Swap that up for your chicken or steak or kangaroo, well, not kangaroo, because you're in West Indies. Yeah, they but ain't that, even kangaroo yeah. in West Indies. <laughs> but that kind of stuff. <laughs> they probably don't even know what a kangaroo is, man. <laughs> it's mixed up for that, plus like your, your sweet potato, your brown rice, or your whatever, whatever meal you want to swap it up for. Mm. But yeah, swap it out for whole foods, because it's going to feel you a lot more satisfied between, or, yeah, until your next meal. For sure. Crew Tom Jer wants to know, what are your general recommendations for pre-summer cut in terms of supplements and nutrition, especially carnitine and carb cycling? Regards from Croatia, Europe. Croatia? For a pre-summer, so you cutting before summer. Well, it's what we said all the whole time, man. Slowly, yeah. slowly cut calories, um, keep your training the same, but slowly increase nutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, so, slowly increase cardio. Yep. Um, and yeah, slowly decrease your calories. Don't yeah. decrease them all at once. Don't just do it gradually until you hit your end goal. Correct. In terms of supplementation, get yourself a good fat burner like MTS Drop Factor. Stack that bitch with a seed low carnitine. Creation supplements, Alcapure. Throw some CLA in there, man. Get that fat loss triangle happening. If you do want to uh, look at a, a nutritional plan, have a look at our free nutritional plan on the website as well. If you want to base uh, some of some of the start or yeah, least, uh, and our free supplement plan also, which is where you're looking about losing weight, which we have the perfect supplements to use. Correct. We got all this shit well, down. We got to stop, stop, mate. It's locked down, isn't it? Articles, free plans. Well, I think we could literally go through a whole episode of Ask Neve and just direct people to the website. We could. That's just brilliant. In terms of carb cycling, man, unless you're preparing for a contest. Yeah. You won't need to carb cycle. No. Really. You better get you better get some. You're talking summer cut. You so you're get, talking less than ten percent body fat. We're not talking sub six, sub five percent body especially fat. Especially being summer cut. You, you need to it, carb cycle. You want it to be shift. something that is maintainable throughout summer, obviously. Exactly. I mean you're not gonna be able to maintain five or six percent and buddy walk around shredded, dry as a bone in the Glutes whole of summer. Hanging. Yeah. Ben Smith wants to know, do you think it would assist or be detrimental to use Noxygen for peak week glycogen depletion workouts? My initial thoughts were assisted, but I wasn't sure how it would affect muscle glycogen. You'd be better at that one than I would. You, you, just, you, were, using, you were using Noxygen though, weren't you? Not during, but not when I was calm depleting. Well, I don't know. I don't know. What <laughs> Noxygen, look, Ben, it's real simple to answer this question, man. Um, Noxygen is effectively glycerol, which is a carbohydrate. It's actually sugar alcohol. So if you're trying to carb deplete and you're taking Noxygen, so you're getting, depending on how many scoops you're taking, you're getting like three to six grams of, of glycerol, which is a carbohydrate, while you're trying to carb deplete, doesn't make a whole lot of sense, man. If you're doing a proper carb deplete, you should be on zero carbs. Uh, so taking oxygen is not zero carbs, so I wouldn't take it. A lot of people seem to have 
different measures for zero carbs these days. Yeah, so. not noxygen. People get confused with noxygen. They think it's a nitric oxide booster. It's not. It's a muscle volumizer. If you're looking for something to help nitric oxide and blood flow and, and to help with your depletion workouts, you need to do a nitric oxide booster, something like Stacteno from Ronnie Coleman Signature Series. That's why a lot of people ask. That's carb free. That's why a lot of people say, "What do you recommend like Stacteno and Noxygen?" Is they're yeah. two completely different products. They're completely different, man. And then you have something like Hema VO2 Max, which is a splice of both of them. Because it's a nitric oxide booster, plus it's got the same stuff that Noxygen's got in it, which is a muscle volumizer. Mm. But for, for peak, weak carb depletion workouts, a pure nitric oxide booster like Ronnie Coleman Stacked in O would be the better choice. Dave1000 wants to know, Nevosh, I'm in some trouble. He's got problems, 99 of them. Oh, that was a bit better. He liked that one, that was much better. Uh, most days I have to go to the gym early in the morning before a full day of work. I finish off, uh, Finished off by uni at night until nine. So he's going to the gym, he's yeah. training, he's getting himself some gains. He's then going to work and then he's studying at uni at night until yeah. 9 p.m. By that time I'm exhausted. What stimulant free supplement will help me stay focused during my lectures? I don't want to be drinking coffee or anything like that will keep me up all night. Uh, amino energy, optimal nutrition amino energy. He just said stimulant free. No, I wasn't. Listen to the fucking question. Give us a look. I just read it! Man. Well, it's stimulant free. No, it's I like that we weren't doing weekly words weekly because now my stress levels go really high with you. What's stimulant free supplement? Well, exactly. That is going to make you stay focused. Except for your favorite sub, HPNNR. Exactly. But I don't, I, I don't. You don't rate it. I don't. But I would be, I would be dropping some HPN and R in there, man. I, think, I find it helps with focus I think, a lot. I think you're better off having uh, O-N amino energy, but just not going the full on scoops like coffee. He specifically said he doesn't want stimulants. Well, but he's finished off by unit night till nine. Well, yeah, but he's, he's, no, nah, you take iron amino energy, you'll be right. I was going to say NR if we can, or if, if you and me, acetyl-L-carnitine, anything that's like a nootropic that crosses the blood-brain barrier that helps with mental focus. You're not, it's not going to sit there. Without though. stimulants, so you're talking acetyl-L-carnitine, you're talking N-acetyl-tyrosine, and then you're talking NR. Go back to your uni days. Okay. You're sitting in a lecture about nodding off and trying to fall asleep here. Yeah. Do you think HPN and NR is going to sit you there and make you work? No, because it's not stimulant, but he specifically said he doesn't want stimulant base. Go your own amino energy. Just don't go the full saving size. Hayden Baddock wants to know, hey fellas, just wondering what your opinions are on the importance of stretched, stretching worked muscle groups, whether it be pre or post workout, and whether you guys do stretches, and if so, how much time do you dedicate to stretching? That's a lot of questions. Packed into one normal size sentence. Um, we, you got me. You got me, Hayden. Um, you got me, man. Normally, Hose would have crossed that out. Normally, yeah. we do a bit of FST7. I'm, off. I'm a bit off. I haven't done this for a few weeks. We do a bit of FST7 training every mm. now and then, throw it in on a last exercise. Um, fascia stretch training. Stretching the muscle fascia from the inside out. Yeah. In terms of stretching, I'll be honest, and I don't stretch. Yeah. At all. I, stre I do stretch activation. Like, you see me before we train legs, mm. I go and actually warm up. For That's like the only time you minutes. do it, though. Stretch activation. I'm not a big fan of static stretching, man. In fact, there's been a lot of studies that I have read over the years, and in particular, probably like the last five years, so quite recent, that have shown that static stretching actually primes muscle for injury more than prevents injury. So I'm not a big fan. I'm a big, you know what I'm a big fan of, man? I'm a big fan of properly warming up. Yeah. And if you've seen our, you, well, probably not the workout videos, we don't show it because it's boring, but if you've seen me train in person before, you know every work, every every exercise is at least one to two fill sets, one to two warm up sets. At the start of each workout, I'll spend like 20 minutes warming up. The rotator cuffs, so you do your rotator, rotator, rotator cuffs. Rotator cuffs, um, whatever muscle group you're training as well. Like we did, we trained chest last night. I literally spent 20 minutes just warming up, just getting the mind-muscle connection, getting the blood into the muscles, like, well, and like, really warming them up. Like, you'll see- Rather us, than, you know, static stretching, which is shit. I'm gonna, like, the other night, I put, you would've seen the video that I did like 170 on the bench. But I mean, you, you don't oh, see- Oh, I to post that on Instagram, I forgot. Yeah. But you don't see, um, it's Wednesday as well. Yeah, lightweight Wednesday. Yeah, but, yeah, you, don't, but you don't see like the first like working set of of like the bar and then the the t just 20 kilo 60 yeah. kilo and then 80 kilo then 100 kilo so yeah it's not just get on there and, and boom it out there's, and there's a lot of wires but i'm going to put it say as well is when i'm power lifting though mm. i do a lot of stretching really yeah why because i get too tight otherwise we're talking in between sets 
Uh, yeah, in between and also a lot, like 15 minutes Static pre. Static stretching or dynamic yeah, static stretching. stretching? Really? I roll my back out, then do my lats, roll from side to side, do my glutes, do my quads, do my um, hip Shit, flexors, and also that. do my leg kicks and stuff to get my hips. So that's dynamic stretching? Yeah. Yeah. So a bit of static, but also dynamic. Interesting. Adam Polk wants otherwise, to know. Adam, otherwise, I can't get depth otherwise as well because I'm that tight. Adam Polk wants to know hey guys, back again. Last week you said to a person to use creatine after training. I'm using Promera Concrete at the moment and it says to use it half an hour to 45 minutes before training. Would you do as directed on the label or have it post training? Thanks. Simple answer to this question. We still have a post workout. Mate. Post workout, simple carbs, helps with insulin spike, which assists in the absorption of creatine, my man. Delivers it to you working, or delivers it to the muscle you use while trained and to re, uh, replenish creatine stores. Two questions left. Nick Honey wants to know hey guys, I'm a 22 year old male. His name's Nick. Yep, he probably goes. didn't need to tell us. He was Could have been Nicola. No, not spelled like that. My cousin's name is Nicola. Really? And she's a girl. Does she go by N-I-C-K? No, N-I-C-O-E-L-A. I'm a 22 year old male and a national level swimmer training nine sessions a week. Was wondering what would be a good post-workout stack to take after training sessions to help refuel carbohydrates and protein. Sessions are usually two hours of moderate to high intensity cardio and endurance anywhere up to six kilometers of swimming. Thanks heaps from Brisbane. Go to Master Joe's and get the post stack. It's spot on, post stack. You get hydrolyzed whey protein isolate, ISO 100. Mm -hmm. You get dextro pure, which is just pure dextrose, 100% pharmaceutical grade to replenish carbohydrates and help with insulin spike. You get creatine HCL pure for that ATP regeneration, which for swimmers is important as shit, man. And your bio grow. Powerful, and then bio grow to help with protein absorption, man, is the ideal post workout stack. Last question, Nevos. I'll give you one guess at who it's coming from. Barney. It's coming from Barney. Barney on. Last question. We should make this routine, I reckon. I reckon Barney on gets a last question. Yeah. Every weekly word, if yeah. he asks one. Provided it's not a. And you know what I like about Barney? Question. Is Barney. Barney has interesting questions generally. And then and they're not questions. Everyone asks the same questions because they're not avid viewers. And Barney watches every week and knows when we've answered a week. So he can tell you, go to episode 27. <laughs> There's the answer. Fourth to that question. question. <laughs> Love it. All right. Barney, I actually haven't read this. I just saw Barney on gave it a tick. I'm like, yeah, we're answering that one. All right, ask Nevos, my wrists, my wrists are embarrassingly small in proportion to the rest of my body. Is there any way I can train them or am I just cursed by genetics? Porky Pig loves cupcakes. I just want to say hashtag. that. Like hush, hashtag. That's your hashtag. Yep. It's for you. Porky you pig. love pack cupcakes? Oh, I love cupcakes. Oh, I don't like donuts. You know that. I like Does cupcakes. Alicia still call you Porky Pig? Um, or is that kind of dropped she's off? She's told me not to say anything about her in front of Weekly Word because it makes her look bad. Ooh, too late. <laughs> but no, she, she... I'll take that as a yes. No, she, no, she doesn't say anything anymore. Okay. She doesn't, call, she doesn't call me Porky Pig. Yeah. Um, Barney, unfortunately, small wrists are just genetic, such as myself. Well, Barney, Barney's Asian. Yeah. Is, and Asian genetics generally are small joints, mm. which is actually really good for muscularity because the smaller your joints, the bigger your muscles look. Yeah. So it's actually not something that I'd want to try and build but up. Have you seen, but, but then Barney's calves, if you've seen Barney's calves. Well, monstrous <laughs> and small knees, small ankles. So the calves look twice as monstrous I've as got they small, are. I've got ridiculously small wrists and ridiculously small ankles, Yeah, but my calves don't look big. But your forearms look enormous. Yeah. So Barney, it's nothing to be embarrassed about, man. There's no way you can train them. I'd actually use them to your favor. Yeah, if anyway, just build your, Barney, probably just try and build your forearms up. That's it. To make them look thicker. We done. But yeah, but like, if, I remember like, you know, like the, um, these wristbands. Yeah. I knew they're tight. On me, I can fit like two wrists in them. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Show me. Like, so it's tight on you. I can see that. It's not really tight, but it, it fits well. Holy shit. It's like fing loose. <laughs> Look at that! That is ridiculous. That's why I can't wear them, because it looks like I'm Why do you wear like wrist supports for every exercise as well? I don't That's know, I just crazy. wear this on the bench, but I've got fing tiny wrists. Knee boss. Unless you look yeah, and then you look at some people and they're fucking JB and they're fing like cutting off the circulation of his hand. Yeah, you can't wear them because they're too small. And I can't wear them because they're fing. Oh, I just got them perfect size wrists, man. Yeah. Mm. I need the girl even the pink ones are too big for me. Knee boss, do you have anything mm. else you'd like to add? Um before I tell the viewers. I just want to say next week's weekly word will be better. We'll be back in form again next week, I think. Yeah, we are a little bit off this episode. <laughs> I apologise to the viewers. If you've made it this far, congratulations. Give a round of applause for the viewers that made it this far. I just want to say next week, can we, can we, <laughs> we're a little bit off. 
I just want to know if next week when you do, see Joe prints these out every week, but next week you need to put some notes there, like with dates, so I get a little bit of a cue to know what yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah. And we're actually gonna, I'm actually away all of next week. So, so we're gonna have to shoot it on Monday. Ooh. Ooh. And then publish it on the usual Thursday. Mm. Anything else you wanna add? No. Before I tell the viewers? Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Hey, look how long the video's gone for. Yeah, I know. 51 minutes. <laughs> and we were off form. <laughs> Shit, no one's made it this far. We don't even need to do the outro. No one's watching. Where are we coming to from me? That's <laughs> <laughs>